Professor Jonathan Moore. Why are you here? Is it a death call for Joe Goldberg in You Season 5? When Joe reaches New York, he will run up former enemies who are out for vengeance. A potential new confrontation for Joe or the reappearance of former acquaintances are hinted at in the teaser. What do we know about You Season 5? Joe Goldberg will make a comeback in You Season 5, and while not much is known about the popular Netflix thriller show's farewell run, what is known about it suggests a ton of fascinating possibilities. Joe has been pursuing his amorous obsessions for four seasons, traveling across the US and Europe and leaving a trail of bodies in his wake. Season 4 concluded with Joe, the charming serial killer, at the top of the game. Having come from modest beginnings, he has had to rely on his cunning and resourcefulness. But now that he has access to his lover Kate Lockwood's billions, he is the master of his craft. You Season 4 on Netflix was released in two parts. The second portion was made available on March 9, 2023. Not only did Joe gain access to a fortune, but he also managed to blame all of his misdeeds on his pupil, amateur investigator Nadia. Even though Joe and Kate made a promise to keep each other good, Joe's evil alter ego Riz Montrose made a surprise reappearance in the last moments of Season 4 indicating that he has no intention of quitting his homicidal ways. Joe could be enjoying his life at the start of View Season 5, but given everything that has been disclosed, it's possible that he won't stay that way. The most recent information about View Season 5 was revealed by Netflix in the form of a Tudum teaser in June 2023. Penn Badgley opens the teaser by stating that he has heard that fans are eager to watch the epic conclusion to you. Then he said that Joe was coming back to New York, but he couldn't reveal to the fans who he would be facing this time. But when he hinted that many people from Joe's background would want to exact revenge on him, that was a clear indication. It is officially revealed that you Season 5 will be the last season of the show. When you made your lifetime debut in 2018, the network opted not to renew it after the first season, which led to an early cancellation. But you took off when it debuted on Netflix, and the streaming service continued the series through season 5 when it could finally come to a dignified and appropriate end. But many viewers have one thing in mind. Where does Joe Goldberg obtain all of his money? No one knows the solution to this question, not even Penn Badgley. In You Season 5, will Penny return as Joe Goldberg? Given that You centers on Joe Goldberg's lethal shenanigans, Penn Badgley's return seems inevitable. The actor has also discussed Joe's newfound power in You Season 5, which means that the murderer who is infatuated will finally meet his maker on film. Furthermore, there's a good likelihood Charlotte Ritchie will play Joe's romantic partner, Kate, again, given that season 4 concluded with a happily ever after. Although Joe had limitless wealth and a spotless new image at the end of season 4, that is unlikely to last. Despite her departure from the creative team of You Season 5, Gamble hinted at Joe's future on the show by stating that she, the writers, Berlanti and Batchelay himself, often discuss how nice it would be to end his arc with some form of justice. If you notice, of late there has been a lot of debates on social media regarding Joe's return to New York and will he face the law for his actions. What are your thoughts about Joe's return to New York and him facing the consequences for his actions? In June 2023, a brief teaser was made available on Netflix using the Tudum teaser format. In this teaser, Penn Batchley addresses the audience and expresses gratitude for their support. Next, he drops two significant indications regarding the new upcoming U Season 5. Batchley first notes that Joe is going back to New York, and then he makes a hint about a rival that Joe will have to deal with in the last season. It's unknown if Joe will face a fresh challenge in new season 5 or if his past will come back to haunt him. By the time the Netflix series ends, Batchley has his wish and use Joe will be confronting the consequences of what he's done from a tomb or behind bars. But so far, the mysterious murderer has only been plagued by his many victims. He has rarely faced real repercussions as he takes care of those who are aware of the truth about him and moves on. 
In the fourth season of You, Joe returns to his former residence in New York, completely avoiding any consequences. He has been granted the opportunity to go back home and live his life without hindrance, after all. Those he has killed and followed throughout the years are still buried there. Even though Joe was the one who really perpetrated the horrible atrocities, Riz the Innocent gets slain in new season 4. Nothing will stop you from making Joe face the music if the program does, in fact, conclude with season 5. It's possible that the final season of You will include some payback, as Badgley is aware of the cruelty of his character and that he deserves punishment. Sometimes, movies and TV shows can be very toxic, and this toxicity can be seen influencing the viewers. Do you know any guys who have watched You and decided that it's time to change? What is the impact of You on real life? With a devoted fan base of 40 million, the Netflix series You has taken over Twitter discourse. Fans are enthralled with the eerie yet alluring Joe Goldberg and his growing infatuation with Beck, a lady he meets briefly in his bookstore. Acclaimed for its dark language and pulpy dramatics, You is a powerful illustration of what well-written entertainment can be. The show's evolution from the original books is a successful reworking of page-to-screen television, with season 5 already in development. However, Joe's attractiveness, charisma, and intelligence have led admirers to romanticize him for a story about a dangerous stalker. Ben Badgley, an actor, addressed this misguided passion on several talk shows and his Twitter accounts because it has become a popular meme. When a fan questioned him about why Joe's persona broke her heart, he said, A. He is a murderer. Playful jokes regarding aside from Yu's contradictory lead actor, the program tackles a significant and persistent issue that is getting harder to monitor, particularly in the era of social media, stalking. The sexual violence response coordinator at Laurier, Sarah Scanlon, spoke briefly about this topic and how simple it is to obtain the private information of others. I think an online culture has contributed to an upsurge in some types of stalking. Therefore, not only does a culture that allows online bullying exist, but it also fosters a kind of behavior that people might not support or condone in a public setting, such as an in-person meeting. In online, that particular behavior is viewed as more accepted or culturally suitable, according to Scanlon. After watching you and taking a closer look at their online personas, a lot of people have started making their social media accounts private and wondering how many people are secretly viewing their personal pages. Unless you essentially shut down your online persona, people can access so much personal information about you and use that as a way to get to you, Scanlon said. For people who have experienced stalking, the ways in which their stalkers, abusers, and perpetrators have been able to use online systems as a way to manage, control, and keep tabs on them has actually created massive amounts of harm and danger. Joe is able to transcend barriers right away in you by learning things about Beck that he otherwise wouldn't know unless she told him herself, like where she lives, who her friends are, and where she attends school. According to Scanlon, there have been instances, even at Laurier, when people have used personal information about people they hardly know to learn how to physically harm them. Even though there is no 100% secure method for keeping oneself safe online, it's crucial to always be aware of who can see what we post and what strangers can do with it once they get their hands on it. Individuals must determine what their personal threshold is for how much access they wish to grant others and make decisions about their own safety. Is it possible for Season 5 to be the best compared to the other four seasons? Do share your views on this in the comments section. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Goodbye!